Welcome everybody to Kind Works, Kind Soup. And we have Julia Small leading us in a delicious many veggie vegetable soup today. All yours, Julia. Thank you. So today we are cooking many veggie soup and um, we're just gonna start by um, sauteing some onions with salt and pepper and olive oil. And I've already started doing that. Um, and we're just gonna do that for about eight minutes or so until it softens. And uh, this has a lot of veggies in it, but you can substitute if there are veggies that um, aren't to your liking <laughs> or, or things, um, if you don't have them in your pantry or in your refrigerator. I love that about this. Seems yeah, like, so, you yeah, know, it's a very hat on hand, I can like add in and whatever I don't have, I don't have to worry about. Yeah. Right, it's a very flexible soup. Can we talk about quinoa? Yes. Let's what questions do you have about? Yeah. What questions do you have about quinoa, Marge? I have an open package of quinoa. Oh, look, there I am. I have an open there you are. package of quinoa, which I thought, why do I have to cook this separately? Why can't I just throw it in and let it cook? Well, actually, we uh, we were Deb and I were talking about that before we started, and oh. what I'm going to do is throw it in when I throw in the broth, so oh, that okay. it. So what? So it. So I have not pre-cooked my quinoa. I'm going to have it cook while the soup cooks. So I think you can do that too. And quinoa only takes about 15 minutes to cook anyway. So I think that's fine. I can't do that now because I've already. I'm already past that point. But I'll throw it in right now. I've got about. Oh, uh, probably about. I was going to check it after 15 minutes. I've got about. You'll seven just minutes cook it as long minutes. as you need to, right? Not gonna hurt anymore. Marge, I have a bigger problem. I'm replacing quinoa with farro, so mine's gonna have to cook for quite a long time. That's nice. I have so much quinoa that I decided, I think I've got about a cup in here, and I think a cup will be fine. I don't need to put in more. This is gonna, if I put in too much, I'll need to um, probably add liquid, and I don't wanna do that. Right, because quinoa does thicken the soup. So my onions are looking pretty good and I'm going to add in the carrots and sweet potatoes at this point. Hello. Hi. Okay. Hey, Julia, I know this is not up to it yet, but I don't think I have white wine vinegar. So what do you recommend? Um, do you have any another kind of vinegar? Or you can also substitute lemon juice instead if you don't have any vinegar. I, I mean, I have a, like an apple cider vinegar and probably something else. Um, yeah, if, if you substitute another one, um, I would do it to taste because I substituted a different one and it made it pretty acidic. So just don't add too much. Um, just, you know, it, maybe not as much as it says and then taste it to make sure it's not too acidic. Okay, let me see what I have around. Thanks. But 
but lemon juice is also, you can use lemon juice if you have that too. I'm also using, um, I have this, like a white balsamic vinegar. I have that. Okay, so my sweet potatoes and carrots are in and now I'm gonna add in um let's see the what the i'm using instead i'm going to use a little bit like just a splash of vinegar i'm not putting wine in mine just using a splash of vinegar and then i'm going to add in um the tomatoes garlic oregano and I'm not a big red pepper flake person. I don't know how other people feel, but I usually don't add them in, but if you want to go ahead. <laughs> so I'm not a spicy girl here. <laughs> so. Let's see. Oh, I have a question. Yes. Um, I have some dill that I bought for something else that, you know, fresh that like a fair amount of it. Can I just throw it in or do you think that stick with the herbs I, that they? No, I think, I think dill would be great with the tomatoes. Okay. Thank you. I, you reminded me that I have some dill, so maybe I'm going to throw that in. Too. Yeah. Isn't it the saddest thing when you get, um, when you get uh, herbs and don't use it all. There's I know. no excuse for that, right? Right. <laughs> March to Ruth Rowe. Oh, sorry. Julie. Oh, I was just gonna say the fire roasted tomatoes smell really good. Mm. What, what were you gonna say to, to March? Marge and Cheryl, do you guys grow dill? Uh, yes, but I don't have any currently growing. <laughs> uh, what I had out in the garden over the summer, like uh, started, what do you call it, bolting, and I think it's not good once it bolts. Ah. Mm -hmm. I got nothing. <laughs> dill, dill is the one thing that I always look for, and I, I look for it every time I see the herbs growing in the stores. Mm -hmm. I always look for dill because I had great success. I have one of those arrow gardens, uh -huh. and I grew a bunch of stuff, and it, had, it hasn't. It's. It, I went through two rounds with it, and it was a lot of fun, and you got all this stuff. And let me turn off that beeper. I'll just give it another five minutes since I threw in the quinoa. Um, so I had so much success with dill. I was like giving it away. It was great. You know, it was really, really fun to grow. Uh -huh. And I do, I do grow basil indoors year round, but I haven't found any dill plants and I look all the time. So mm. I was thinking of actually getting some seeds and starting it to see if I could grow it indoors. Because oh, good. I think it's worth, the arrow garden needs a new, new lighting that lighting system of it went. And I just, you know, that's probably a fair amount to replace it. I'm not sure if it's worth it. I've got the basil growing. I'm contemplating and I'm contemplating like the immediate future, like maybe today, 
Um, certainly by tomorrow, bringing in the parsley that's outside because my parsley did surprisingly well this year. Has anyone ever brought it, brought parsley inside to grow? Yeah, I'm thinking I might bring it in. It's not in a huge pot, but there's, you know, it already looks like a jungle in here because you know how those plants line my walkway? Well, a lot of those plants have moved inside already. So. Oh my goodness. Marge, what about just trying a, um, a desk lamp for your, uh, instead a, of the grow light? With Well, with a grow light in it, it might work, yeah. but you know, that's just when I need another thing in the room. And, you know, just one more thing that David's going to have to do when I have that surgery is mm -hmm. water the plants. He has no idea. He has yeah. no, he's just, <laughs> it's like, you know, the laundry, changing the sheets. I mean, all that stuff that yeah. you do, the vacuuming. That, you yeah. Know. Although I may be able to vacuum because you can really vacuum one-handed. I won't have to move my left arm. So we'll see. Meanwhile, I want to thank you and publicly announce what a wonderful job you did yesterday talking about kind works. Oh, thank you. Ye yesterday, Deb was at Har Shalom speaking to the fifth through seventh graders about community wow. service projects. And we talked wow. about- We were both, yesterday. we did it together. Marge was talking about it yeah, too, because she, yeah. It was other fun. people did it. Yeah, it was fun. It was, it was good. It was interesting because it was interesting to hear what the kids do now, which is very different from when my kids were in fifth through seventh grade uh -huh. back in the last century. <laughs> 20th Deb, century. Did you put in two cups of Pharaoh or just one? Uh, let's see how much I have. I just emptied a bag. Uh, closer to one. This bag was already open and it's a 12 ounce bag. So probably about a cup and a little. Okay, just wondering. It Whether. won't be, it won't take up a lot of space in the soup, um, but it's going to take a while to cook, I'm sure. Yeah, I was trying to decide if I should put one cup or two. Two. <laughs> two, okay. <laughs> I only used one. I know, but you know what? There's so much stuff in this soup, Marge. Oh but my God. I know, Which, but I, okay. it really absorbs the water. Yeah. I'm kind of wondering if, do I really want to keep adding water to it later on? I don't know. Well, we'll find I, out. Yeah. yeah, I can always add, I can always add more broth. Mm -hmm. But Faro stops cooking after a while. I mean, it, you know, it, it's not like pasta where it collects forever. Doesn't it? I think it stops more, but who knows? Anyway, this soup looks so beautiful. The different colors going on in my pot here is just making me happy. And I haven't even put the kale in yet. That's true. It's almost time for kale. What do we got here? Um, I didn't put in the bay leaves. I didn't put in the bay leaves because I didn't want to have to go fishing for them to get them out. <laughs> oh, I think in this soup you want bay leaves. Don't you think? Yeah. yeah. I, I put them in. And Mine, you guys are so way ahead of me. Well, we, we cheated, Holly. Don't worry. Okay. My, I'm really my bay at the very beginning, so I'm trying to listen. I'm going to get my bay leaves right now. Okay. Yeah. Mine are pretty big, so I can find them. Okay, so. I'll go look for some bay leaves and see if I have water. Oh, Marge, man, you give in to peer pressure. I love it. <laughs> now that we know, it's a whole new game on Mondays. Oh, I have one very large one. That one will go in. I'm not perfect. Six or six is too many. I tried to cut it down to five and Julia corrected me. Oh <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Boy, it smells good. So Holton is going to start a program where their fifth graders are going to cook soups. And I think I'm going to start them off with this soup because it is so easy to just replace um, ingredients. A good idea. And also you can have a lot of different um, students cutting different vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a great one to start out with. Let me know if you're desperate to get back inside an elementary school and you can meet me there one day. Oh, I would yeah. love to. That would be so much fun. Would it be fun? You want to do it with me? I think their first day 
and I think this is the soup, is going to be on Tuesday, the 25th. Like, well, let you me know, see. one o'clock ish. Let me see if I can do that. Okay. What am I adding now? Green beans. I'm adding bay leaves. No, you already did that. I'm going to add green beans. Oh, it is so pretty, all these colors. Uh huh, gorgeous. Okay, what else is going in? Zucchini, I forgot to buy. Um, another 10 minutes. So. You know what? It has such a, a surprisingly rich taste. Why does it? Just all the veggies? I just figured it was mainly like broth and a ton of chopped veggies. I didn't think it would be tasting rich. It does. I think the fire roasted tomatoes help and the vinegar. I didn't even put my vinegar in yet. I'm about oh. to. It's going to be good. All right. I, th I think it's the fire roasted tomatoes help a lot. Wow. It's really good. Back, back to the vinegar. I've got red wine vinegar and apple cider. I think red wine vinegar might be better. What do you think? That's what I'm using, Cheryl. Oh, I, I've got white Moderna vinegar from Trader Joe's. It smells so good. That's what I would use. Yeah, this is, this is lovely. Okay, that just went in. just learned something that you guys can gain from my misfortune. Take your bay leaves out before you put your kale in. Oh, oh. right. That's a good idea. Good. Yeah, it's a great idea. Otherwise, you will not find them. Well, let's hope that you can because I didn't do it. But oh, yeah, yeah, what a mess. And spinach also works well in this soup too. Baby spinach works well. How's everyone coming along? Good. Tomatoes.
Joyce and Lisa are here. Joyce, how are you feeling? Oh, we can't, we can't sure. hear you. All right, sorry about that. Sorry, y'all. I came in late. Did I, have I missed any crucial instructions? Basically, the, what you missed was delightful in that Julia said, Put in whatever you want. This soup is going to work. Make sure you have the roasted tomatoes. Um, yep. And other than that, you can kind of play, you know, whatever what's works for your um, kitchen and okay. the tail rack and freshness and what you like. So Great. that was the good part. And that then is, I, what? So drain, but drain the roast peppers, right? Drain no. no. Uh-oh. No. Wait no. a minute. No. no. Wait. Roasted peppers? Roasted tomatoes. Tomatoes. Oh, yeah, no, no. Pep tomatoes, yeah. Yeah. Drain those, right? No. no, no. Put the whole can in. Okay. Okay. All yeah. right. Got this it. is a really this is a very flexible soup. And if you also don't have the right kind of vinegar, you can substitute a different kind of vinegar. Um, but but you but put it in sparingly to taste it because it can get acidic. So okay. um okay. I mean, yeah, because because I used a different kind and it, it made it kind of um, pretty tart, I would say. So, uh, so okay. but I think this, um, I'm using a white balsamic today. And um, oh, I think that'll be good. Um, but you can, you can try different vinegars if you don't have, you know, like a white wine. No, I do. Um, what about uh, at the very end? Can we substitute the... Um... Oh, you know, for orzo or the, the, the quinoa. I do have quinoa. I was just wondering if you could substitute that. Yes. Um, Deb is using farro today. Okay. And yeah. um, I, I think you can substitute other grains. You don't even have to put it. The original recipe is written without grain. So uh -huh. if you don't want to put a grain in, you don't have to, but you okay. certainly can. Okay. Okay. The other important thing about that, Joyce, the other thing on the grains, the quinoa, Put it in when you put in your vegetable broth. There's no reason to cook it separately unless you have right. some great desire to cook it separately. Or to right. clean extra pots and pans. Right. Right. Now, I put I ahead. put my quinoa in at the same time I put my broth in. So it's oh. it only quinoa only takes about 15 minutes to cook. Right. Okay. All right. That's that's good. Well, Joyce, I'm, the most yeah. important thing is something that Deb discovered by screwing up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take out the bay leaves before you put the kale in. Oh, okay. You want to be able to see them. Sure. Good idea. <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm, a, I'm at sauteing the onions, but I should be, um, I should have this frozen and dropped off at your house tomorrow, Marge. Okay. So, well, yeah. see if it see if it freezes. I mean, I know that when I delivered the red pepper soup last week, I had the the stuff I delu I cooked on Sunday was no problem. But the Monday red pepper soup, three of mine weren't frozen. Now, some Ooh. of them were, and some of them weren't. I think it was how they were stacked in the freezer. So uh, if you bring them over and they look unfrozen, we can always throw them in my freezer for next week. So it's not a big deal. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Right. But Joyce, yeah. you're feeling all better. Oh, yeah, now that um, I've made my trip to the ER and they've pumped me full of all kinds of shots, they think I'm allergic to a blood pressure medicine. So I have a gazillion meds for 
about a week, you know, to get it out of my system. Okay. So that's, which all means that I can go back to drinking milk, having cheese that <gasps> is plant-based. Oh no, all that stuff was, I didn't realize. I thought you were just lactose intolerant. I didn't realize it was all tied in. It never, it never occurred to me. But when I saw the allergist, the first thing he said was, you know, this could be your blood pressure. And when I was in the, uh, in, in the ER, the internist said, it's got to be the, the blood pressure. <laughs> so, so hopefully it'll all be resolved in a month. Good. Okay, yeah. well, good. Next, tell them that they can't have you on Mondays in the future. Take <laughs> vacation to the ER on a Tuesday, right? Yeah. Right. Tell my tongue that. No, that that's scary. It is scary. Yeah. Did you drive yourself or did you call the... Um, uh, okay, all okay. right. I will confess, and my girls have really lambasted me. By the time I decided to go to the ER, I had no voice. <gasps> so I thought, I cannot call 911. I don't have a voice. And... It takes me, I go Woodhaven, Bradley, Ewing, and old Georgetown, and I'm at Suburban. It's like maybe three miles. And in the middle of the night, there's no traffic. There is nobody. So yes, I drove myself to the ER, and I have since been taught how to do 911 if I can't talk. How do you do it? Well, you can text. First, first you call them, and I have a landline. So, uh -huh. so they will tell me if they can lock into my address or tell me to text. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, it's pretty easy. I've just, I've never dealt with 911 in my life. Well, thank goodness. Yes, exactly. So we all are, I'm on a learning curve. Well, thanks yeah, for helping all actually, of us. That's actually frightening what yeah. happened to you. Yeah. Well, I could breathe through my nose, so I was not panicked. Smart. I mean, I had no trouble breathing through my nose. It's just that my tongue was pretty swollen. Mm. Yeah, that's, well, that's an anaphylactic reaction. Yes, yes, it, it was an anaphylactic. Yes, that's exactly what it was, which has never happened to me. Wow. So um, anyway, it's all good. And of course, I, I wrote out, um, I was all prepared when I walked into the ER saying, I cannot talk. I'm having an allergic reaction. I'm, I was here last month. I'm in your records. I gave her my cards. She did the cards. And then she said, you go that way. And she proceeded to get up and walk into the ER, probably to tell them that I was not far behind. And when I was with, it, it was, it was, there was one other person in the ER. That was it. And so I never even took off my shoes. I never took off my pants. They started, they started loading me up immediately. And so I was there for about five hours. They wanted to intubate me. And I said, no, 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 no. Let's, let's keep, well, I couldn't talk, but I, I was emphatic. And I just said, I put on, I gestured, let's wait. Every 10 minutes, the the doctor would walk in and say, stick out your tongue, which wasn't difficult. And, and it, it really was almost a meat. Well, it went, it, it worked. Okay. And so then they said, well, we'd like to have you spend the night. And I shook my head. And by the time I could talk, I said, I don't mean to be disrespectful. I'm willing to spend eight hours, but then I'm going to go home. And so then they took me up to this intermediate care unit, which I shared with strokes, stroke people and some other, and airway people, where the nurses assigned only three patients. And of course, you know, they were blitzing in on my oxygen levels. And so every time it went to the low point, which wasn't that low, 
<laughs> it would go ping, 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 ping. And about a minute later, she would come in. But by that time, it was on the rise. And um, so I got to know her when once I was able to start talking. And she was a very sweet, young, conscientious, caring nurse. So it was a very good. And then my, my neighbor picked me up. Um, she drove my car home, came back, picked me up and took me home. So um, it, it was a good story and suburban. I cannot recommend enough. Good. Last year was 1987 when it was just a little country hospital. Wow. So, now okay. it's like all these huge buildings, right? It's a campus. Yeah. Wow. I'm glad you had a good experience. I'm okay. glad you're fine. And right. back. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. I'm good. I better look at my onions. All right. <laughs> All right, Lisa, can you say hi? Or are you, are you off? Uh... No, hi. Hello. You okay? Yeah, um, my pots of soup are on the stove, cooling just a bit. I decided to seize the moment and make it this afternoon while uh -huh. I had a pause in life. Um, so I took care of that. Um, I, I should have, um, Julia's advice was um, very smart and a prudent thing to do of add a little bit of vinegar and then taste. Uh oh. <laughs> I just looked at those directions and two tablespoons went in one pot, two in the other. Of oh one no. Pot. It is a little flavorful. Um, I could toss in some corn. I have some fresh corn that I cut off the cob. I could toss in some corn, which would add a natural sweetener. Or I could just put a teaspoon or two of sugar um, into it to kind of cut cut the tartness of it. I, I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. But maybe I should first put the quinoa in. Um, yeah, that might soak yeah, some of it up. But also, now that you even just mentioned the corn, I've got a huge bag of frozen corn in my refrigerator. I may throw some in just for the color. I think that would look pretty. Yeah. Um, but every year I usually buy a dozen, dozen and a half ears of corn, parboil, cut off and freeze it. Yeah. So I have some for Thanksgiving. Um, uh. so maybe I'll be kind enough to share a bag or two of this wonderful um, sweet corn. So and put it in the soup. No, well, if you want, I'll drive you down some of this like um, refrigerated stuff that you're not uh, saving no, no. for. No, no, I'm no, happy no, to. No, I, Marge knows my, I've got such a small freezer, like me giving up space in the freezer is a good thing. Okay. All right. The other thing is if, if you can always add a little bit more broth too, if it doesn't, if not, if those other solutions don't work. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Um, but that is, I, after I did it, I thought, you know, not the smartest move, <laughs> but anyway, I was just trying to be efficient and move along at a um, good clip. Now, have you made this with um, beans other than the chickpeas? Because we did a chickpea recipe. I still have a lot to bring to wherever, but I was going to do the white cannelloni beans in this. I thought it's the I, I, I think, think you, would be lovely. Yeah, I think you can you do any beans with it. Okay. I think that's fine. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm partial to chickpeas. I love them, so I use yeah. them all the time, but I think you can do any beans you want. Well, I, you know, I make a lot of these soups and, you know, donate some, but I'm bringing it to my mother, my 88 year old mother and her friends. And I brought the chickpea soup last week. So I'm thinking the beans would be protein rich. My mother's very anemic. It has a lot of iron. So, you know, it just seemed like a good match for her, but also she is like a, a real pasta gal. So I was going to at this, uh, you make it separately and kind of mix in some pasta. I thought that would be great for her, at least. Absolutely, it, it's almost like a um, like a minestrone. Minestrone, that's yeah, yeah, so great. Okay, thank you for blessing all of my changes. <laughs> I appreciate that's, this. This soup is completely flexible. I mean, it's I, really I, I that's love, love that's the beauty of it. Okay, I have not added my kale yet. I put in two, three large bay leaves and two of them have vanished. Oh my goodness. I didn't know, I was like, what? 
I hope you find them, Marge. I'm looking, I'm looking. Gosh, this is incredible. Where are they? I'm going to find mine in a minute. There's one. Okay, two of them. Where's the third? My tongs have disappeared. Into the soup? <laughs> no, I just can't find them. Uh, here they are. This is a big pot of soup I have. <laughs> mm -hmm. Julia, I think in hindsight, maybe I would have cooked the zucchini a little bit before. Really? It's not. Know. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, you know? I feel like maybe if I roasted it a tiny bit. Oh, maybe. Am I the only one who feels that way? Asking the person who forgot to buy zucchini. <laughs> um, I, I haven't tried to taste the broth thus far, so I haven't tasted the zucchini, but it'll all meld together. Well, that's probably right. When it sits overnight, I think the flavors soup is often better the next day. Okay. The flavors all kind of merge. The other thing is this is really this is really good soup with some parmesan cheese because mm. I had it with that and it was really good when I made it the first time. Uh-huh. Okay. I didn't even put it was it was um it one of the optional add-ons or something? I didn't even put it I on. think so. I, yeah, I think it's one of the options, but ah. it's really it is really good with um some cheese on top. Okay. Good. Thank <laughs> you. 
I just really did make a ton of soup. Yeah, my, my, my big pot is really full. <laughs> my goodness. It's a lot of vegetables. Yeah. Great. Okay, Marge, are you are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I I have a question. Sure. I thought what I did was I actually bought fire roasted peppers. Ah. Can I substitute just regular tin tomatoes? Because that's I do have enough. You know what I would do? Hmm. I would use the can. Use two cans of tomatoes. Yeah. And one of the jars of the fire roasted peppers because then you get but drain those fire roasted peppers don't you think julia oh yeah drain? i think yeah i agree i would use regular tomatoes and then one fire roasted peppers and drain them as marge said okay all right yeah, yeah. and then yeah super and, forgiving. and then what and then you get the fire roasted taste but you know use what you have on hand okay all right. I've got 10 and I'm still going. That's crazy.
Yeah, I have to say with Deb, Julia, this is the prettiest looking soup I think we've ever made. <laughs> it is it's so pretty. Just a happy looking. I have two pots because I don't have the mega pot. Um, but I'm smart enough now to know to start with two pots. Um, it really is, it's just as, it's a happy pot of soup, mm. pots of soup. Oh. Well, I hope that the people who receive it will be just, will be very happy to get it. I, how can they not be? It's gorgeous. Uh, oh, Julia, did you, are you um, spooning yours into, dishing yours out yet? No, I am at the point where I am just about to add the kale. Okay. So well, I hope I, I didn't did. lead you astray on the quinoa because I have plenty of farro in mine. Well, you know, mine looks okay. Good. Um, I, I don't think it's too much quinoa. Good, good, good. It's so, lighter than farro, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't puff up quite as much as Faro. Yeah. So. Well, sorry about my dog. <laughs> He's noisy. So Cheryl, before we have to hang up, you want to share the big news on Rural Kindness Day? Hey, so some exciting news. Um, for World Kindness Day Soups On, we're going to have a special guest to talk about kindness. And that special guest is, drum roll, <laughs> Olympic gold medalist, Katie Ledecky. Woohoo! So I don't know if um, 
you know, any of your kids are swimmers or their circles of friends, but uh, she, she's amazing. Such a lovely young woman and uh, really inspiring. And I know that uh, my kids, you know, just get so excited. You know, my, my daughter swam with, with Katie, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, but Katie's a few years, like five, six years younger and, you know, was lapping the older kids when Katie was like six or seven years old. It was crazy. Oh but she was just such a nice kid. So I'm so excited to cook with her or chat with her while we cook or whatever. Chat with her while we cook. Yeah. So if any of you have um, swimmers in your family, tell them to cook white bean, creamy white bean soup with us on World Kindness Day and get to meet and speak with Katie Ledecky. Be fun. It's really it's exciting. Very yeah. exciting. Yeah, that is incredible. Um, my two little BFFs next door, I'll let them know. Oh, um, good. Because Laurel is in competitive swimming, so it will be exciting for her. Oh, good. So let's see if I can get them to join in. It's on Sunday, that Sunday in November the 13th at 4 o'clock, Lisa. Okay, we'll do. I'll send them the flyer. I think I've got that in my email. Oh, good. So, super, thanks. Oh, fun. I'm excited. Good job, Cheryl. A couple Cheryl. of weeks ago, Katie had posted on, on Instagram, you know, that something like kindness is the new cool. Like she was just, you know, promoting kindness. And I was like, oh, well, <laughs> if you want to promote kindness, come, you know, do this with kind work. So, yeah. It's great. It'll be fun. All right. How's everybody doing? We going to let Julia have her dinner or we still need her? <laughs> Everybody yeah. okay. it turned out well for everyone. Okay. I have one question before we leave. Um, the last dose of vinegar, I heard you say something about, you know, keep it lighter than four tablespoons. What was your verdict? Um, I, I just added two tablespoons. I'm going to taste it and it see, and then, you know, see if it it's too acidic and then if it's not i'll add a little bit more but i would start light and add so light. what about you deb did you put the whole thing in yeah but you know i'm not the most meticulous counter of what i do not in any <laughs> ingredient not in anything um so i would stick with julia's advice over mine. okay thank you um the the quinoa that i put in just now help mellow it out a bit. So, oh, but start light. You can always go heavy, just like makeup. There you go. <laughs> all right. right. Sounds good, you all. Good to see you. Thanks for cooking with us today. Okay, bye. Thank you. Julia, thank you so much. This is oh, this beautiful. Was fun. This was fun. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's thank you, Julia. It's a great soup. Wonderful. Thank you. See you next bye, week. Bye, guys. Yep. Bye.